How do I get through here? There's a growing rage among civil rights groups in the United States over this man and what the U.S. President Donald Trump has done to help him. As Americans were fixated on the arrival of one of the worst storms to hit the nation in 12 years, the White House quietly released a Friday evening statement saying former Sheriff Joe Arpaio had been pardoned. Hasta la vista, Arpaio. In July, an Arizona court ruled Arpaio violated a court order that banned him from racial profiling while in office, targeting largely Latino illegal immigrants during traffic stops. It said Arpaio had overstepped his legal authority. He was convicted but will now not be sentenced as a result of the president's actions, welcomed by Trump supporters. Please welcome Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Arpaio is a hero in the eyes of many in the United States for standing up for sovereignty in the face of illegal immigration. We are more concerned with the rights of illegal aliens and criminals than we are with protecting our own country. Speaking in Arizona this week, Trump promised to use his presidential powers to pardon Arpaio. Was Sheriff Joe convicted for doing his job? That's what. But you know what? I'll make a prediction. I think he's going to be just fine, OK? The Arpaio pardon, even though his case meets few of the Justice Department's criterion for clemency, has infuriated Trump's critics. Many see it as another example of the president playing to his base. Just as when he equated neo-Nazi marchers in Charlottesville with counter-protesters. You had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. Standing uncomfortably alongside the president last week as he made that argument was a Jewish advisor from Trump's own White House. On Friday, Gary Cohn told a U.S. newspaper the president needs to do a better job of condemning hate. But while the president may see Arpaio as a victim, others see a presidential pardon for the former sheriff as yet another injustice to minority communities already plagued by discrimination. Certainly a pardon of Joe Arpaio would just be another, uh, you know, pretty divisive thing that would divide Trump's base versus uh, a lot of the rest of the country. Indeed, an Arizona polling group found a majority of people living in that state do not support the sheriff being cleared of his crimes. Just 21 percent say they favor a presidential pardon. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.